Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and four brand new Monkey Kid sets were just revealed, I guess is the word. In reality, they were leaked on LEGO's Malaysia site, like they just popped up on the LEGO shop, no pictures, just the names, and they've since been taken down, but because they were posted by LEGO themselves, I'm allowed to cover them. So we have the names and piece counts for four brand new Monkey Kid sets, so let me just go through them. There is the Monkey King Brickheads, which I guess you guys can assume what that is, it's a Brickhead set, but of the Monkey King. This set will have 175 pieces and I assume will be $10 like the rest of the Brickheads. Uh, they have set descriptions for all these sets as well, but I'm not going to read this one because it's a Brickheads. Next we have set 80015 Monkey Kids Cloud Roadster. This set contains 659 pieces, which judging by that piece count, it should be about $70, but it could be more or less depending on how the price per part is for this. Uh, here's the description. You can pause the video if you want to read that. And it mentions the minifigures, and what I find funny is there's a character named Chen, which I find funny that there's a character named Chen in two LEGO original themes, and I would like to get that figure just to do a, just have Chen and Chen from Ninjago and Monkey Kid, so curious what he looks like. But yeah, that's the main takeaway I take from this one. Next we have set 80014, Sandy's Speedboat. This set contains 394 pieces. Here's the description once again, if you'd like to read the description for this one. And it mentions the May figures in set in this set are Monkey Kid, Spider Queen, and Pigsy, as well as Sandy, Mo the Cat, and three Spider minifigures. That actually sounds really cool to me, considering the piece count, because this seems like a smaller set, but uh, we know Sandy is a big fig, so likely I expect this set to be $50 if we're lucky, $60 if we're not, and if it's any more than that, it's not worth it at all. But this is one I might get because I really want Sandy's cat. I think that's really funny. And you do get the main three, like, besides the girl, you don't get the girl. You get the three of the main Monkey Kid heroes in this set. Plus Spider Queen sounds like the uh, really cool villain idea. So I'm, uh, I'm very curious to see this set once it's revealed. And I currently don't have any Monkey Kid sets, but if this one's cool, this might be one I get. And then finally, there's set 80016, The Flaming Foundry. This set contains 1,427 pieces, which... It's so many. There's so many big pieces. There's so many big uh, sets in this line. Uh, here's the description. It mentions that it's a model of the Demon Bull King's Lair, which does sound kind of cool, but then it says it's a detachable dump truck, which is less cool. <laughs> and the uh, minifigures mentioned are Monkey Kid, May, Princess Iron Fan, Red Sun, Roar, Growl, and Uncle Zang. Thank you to 1414FalconFan on Instagram for getting these set descriptions. Uh, all these images are his. So go check him out on Instagram to see these for yourself. So overall, I mean, I know we only have set descriptions of these, but they definitely sound very interesting. Uh, it seems like we have more varied minifigures in this wave, unless like a lot of these named characters are just like generic civilians. But one complaint I had with your initial Monkey Kid wave was aside from the main characters, like the figures weren't that interesting. Like all the Demon Bull King dudes were just like the same with slightly different pieces. Like, no, they all had the same exact pieces, just the horns were slightly different. So hopefully we get some more varied villains in this wave. And I'm very curious when this is going to come out, too, because it seems like these are 2020 sets, but we've got most of the 2020 sets revealed. So when are these going to come out? September or October? Like, that's really late for a set release, but that'd be kind of cool if they did a set release at that time. But we'll keep this video short and sweet. So that's those are my thoughts. I know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this every single day. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.